that we're going to make some measurements in the spectrum display. So I'll change the acquisition to spectrum and now we're in a spectrum display where we're displaying amplitude against frequency. So in this particular uh, display we're going from DC up to 10 megahertz. It is possible to increase the bandwidth up to 350 megahertz so now we're displaying up to 350 megahertz which is the full analog bandwidth of the instrument. For my particular signal I'm going to select uh, 78 megahertz so I can look at the fundamental and the third harmonic. So we could measure the frequency uh, manually with a cursor now. We can just position a manual cursor on a component and measure directly the frequency. So here we see the 60 megahertz fundamental but in the spectrum mode now we can go and look at the next largest component which will be the uh, third harmonic and measure the frequency of the uh, third harmonic which will be uh, 48 megahertz. So it's possible to uh, measure a lot more of the frequency content of a signal in the spectrum display. We can perform these sort of measurements automatically by again using the measurements facility. So in the measurements now we have the spectrum measurements so we're measuring frequencies, uh, average amplitude power, total power, uh, harmonic distortion, uh, spurious free dynamic range, uh, synad measurements, signal to noise and intermod distortions. So if we wanted to measure the uh, frequency again of this particular signal, uh, measure it at the ruler say, okay. So here now we're doing an automatic measurement uh, of the uh, fundamental frequency of the 16 megahertz. <coughs> Similarly we can do uh, amplitude type measurements so we could again use a, a cursor to make a measurement on the amplitude. And I'll put a second cursor onto the uh, third harmonic there. So we're seeing that the, uh, the fundamental had an amplitude of minus 11 dB micro, or the th third harmonic was down at minus 24. So we're seeing a difference of minus uh, of 12 dB. In the options menu, we can actually change the units of the vertical display. So I'm going to change them here to uh, dBm. So now we're measuring in dBm's. So again we're measuring directly in dBm. It is possible again to use a measurement to measure this uh, difference in amplitude directly. So again we select the measurements. So here we see all the uh, different measurements available. So we're going to select uh, for this second measurement the spurious free dynamic range. I'll select it across the whole trace and say OK. So now I'll delete the uh, first measurement. So now we're measuring the difference. It's automatically found the fundamental at minus 12 and then looked for the next highest component, which indeed will be the uh, third harmonic. So now we put the 12 dB below it. And if we look at the measurement, in fact, it has measured automatically the 12 dB. So it's automatic looked at all those spurious components below that minus 12 harmonic. Apply a filter to the 